Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my everyday makeup. Um, I've got all of my stuff laid out here, which you can see right now. And I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff on my face. Um, I don't really change my makeup all that often. Um, I keep I keep it the same way every time I make a video or every time I go out. Because I like keeping things consistent. And I like to think I've found a way that, you know, makes my face look good. So. So there you go. Oh, I'm great with words, aren't I? So firstly, I'm going to moisturise my face with this. This is the Boots Essentials Moisturising Cream in Cucumber. Um, I like to switch out my moisturisers, but I got this the other day and it was really cheap and it smells lovely and it is so hydrating. Like, I had no idea it was going to be this good. So if you can pick this up, you don't have much money, it's a good one to go for. So now we just let that dry into the skin so that when you put your makeup on it doesn't just slide off again. Um, I would recommend moisturising every time you do makeup just to create a nice base. Um, it helps you put your makeup on evenly and it also stops you getting dry patches which look really gross. First off I take the Boing Concealer by Benefit. Um, I've used this for quite a while as you can tell by how much is left in this pot. Now I only really use this when I'm making videos because it's quite heavy duty and it does start creasing up under the eyes quite quickly. Um, but it really really works to cover dark circles so just rub your finger in it and then just dab it along any areas that need brightening up. There we go. The reason I don't use a brush for this is because this is so thick and kind of oily that when you put it on with a brush, like you can see the brush indents on your skin, so it's better just to use your finger and just dab it on like that. Next up, I take the Bubblegum Lip Scrub by Lush and you simply open it, dip your finger in it and rub it on your lips and exfoliate your lips so that they are not dry for when you put lipstick on. It looks so attractive right now. I like to lick it off. Um, some people say, oh, I don't want to do that because it's all dead skin and stuff, but they made it so that you can lick it off, so... And it tastes good. It's genuine, by the way. It's made of sugar, so it is edible, so don't worry. I'm not telling you to poison yourselves. Next up, I take the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I have used this for about a year now, and it is just... It's never failed me. It's never let me down. This is maybe, like, my fourth or fifth little tub. Um, so you just grab a little bit, and then we dab it under the eye area, so basically where um, where you put the Boing concealer, so just dab it on like that. Do the same with the other eye. And then I put it around my nose as well. Um, I look I look great right now, don't I? Then I grab the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. This is my favourite brush of all time. It gets in all of the corners and it never leaves any brush marks when I use this. So. And there we go. If you have any spots, you can also put this stuff over that. Sometimes I also go over my chin like that. And also down the uh, length of your nose. Just blend that in. Um, I like to make my concealer do all the work rather than foundation because I find that foundation is a lot heavier on the pores than this stuff. So I would recommend, if you can get away with not wearing foundation, then please do. Because um, obviously you want your skin to be able to breathe and the more you have on your face, the less it can breathe. So next I take the On The Spot Foundation by Seventeen. Um, again, I've mentioned this before, it's cheap and it's great and it helps clear up your skin. So it's basically, it's a pump action. I like to just put it on my face rather than on the brush. Um, I just find it more practical to use my skin as a palette. So there we go. Now in this light my skin looks quite shiny, um, but it really really isn't, it isn't that shiny in real life, it's simply because I've got a light shining on it. Um, sometimes I use mattifying powder, but I find that in the winter it's best to not sort of dry out your skin. Next up I take the Browsings by Benefit with my MAC 208 brush. Um, this is an angled brush you can use for either your eyebrows or like um, eyeliner. So I just take this, I don't really use the wax too much, um, sometimes I do, dab it in really really gently and go over your eyebrows. There's the difference. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so next I take my Sleek palette. This is in Storm. This is Storm 578, and these are the shades that you get. Hello. <laughs> um, I usually use um, this one for the eyebrow, um, the, the, not the eyebrow, obviously, brow bone, 
that's the one. Um, sometimes I use the gold, sometimes I use the pink. Today I'm going to go with gold because that's the one that I use um, the most often. First off, just going to take some of the white and I'm just going to put it just where the eyebrow finishes and then sort of blend that in already. You can already see there is a slight hint of the highlighting going on. So next I'm going to take uh, the gold. Uh, so I just dab that in there. Just put that all over the eyelid and then blend it in. Like that. Um, so you can either leave it like that or you can now take the matte brown and just put that on the ends. Wipe off the brush and then use it to blend it all in. Make sure you blend over the crease and then blend it on the eyelid itself. So that's the eyeshadow. Now sometimes I use eyeliner, sometimes I don't. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial I will use it and I will show you how I apply it, although I did make a whole tutorial on how I do my eyeliner, which some people found helpful, some people didn't, so that, that's totally fine, but I'm just gonna apply this to my eyelids. I'm just gonna do it without stretching my eyelids this time, okay? No cringing. Oh my god, I look like I've been beaten up. <laughs> there we go. So that is it with the eyeliner on, and now we're gonna move on to the mascara. I like to use the YSL mascara in pure black. Um, I just find this is a really, really good one to use. I think this is like 25 pound though, so it's quite an expensive one, but it has lasted me a long, long time. I'm trying to consciously not have my mouth open as I do this, but everyone adds, not everyone opens their mouth, don't they, when they put mascara on? Maybe they don't, maybe it's just me. <laughs> there we go. Next, I move back onto the lips. This is the Honey Trap Lip Balm by Lush. It looks like this inside. It is like sheer butter that you're putting on your lips and it just feels amazing. It doesn't have petroleum jelly in it, so you're not gonna dry out your lips. Um, I think I mentioned that in a video before, don't use things like Vaseline or those lip chap things you can get for like a pound. Use this, it lasts forever, and it's like £5.50 a pot, so I'd recommend this. Now obviously you can leave this look here or you can add some lipstick. I only really wear lipstick when I'm making videos. Um, I use the NARS in Mayflower and the Topshop Lip Liner in... It doesn't actually say what one this is which is helpful, but it looks like that. So just let your lip balm sink into your lips for a little while, and then go on to the lip pencil and just outline the outside of your lips. This basically stops your lipstick from bleeding. Like so. Then simply grab the NARS lipstick and fill in the middle. So there we go, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye!